Oh God, we just thank and praise you, God, for allowing us to see a day we never saw before, God. For an opportunity, God, just to come lift up your name, God. Just to praise your name, God. We have no reason to fear. For thou art with us. Hallelujah. We thank you today, God. We bless your name. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, God, as we prepare to hear what you're saying to us today, God, we ask that you prepare our minds and our hearts, God, that we may hear what the Spirit is saying. Oh, we come against every spirit of distraction right now in the name of Jesus, God. We even come against every hindering spirit, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, we ask that you allow your blessings to fall afresh upon each and every one under the sound of my voice, God, even those that will hear this later, God. We ask that you continue to bless our pastor, our first lady, God. Yes. Oh, God, continue to bless everything they put their hands to do, yes. God. Oh, God, we thank and praise you for our overseer, God. Continue to strengthen them, God. Oh, God, continue to satisfy them with long life, God, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, we thank and praise you each and every one here today, God. Oh, God, we ask that you allow your blessings to fall upon them, God. For the blessings of the Lord make it rich in the end of no sorrow unto them, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Have your way today, God. Move by your spirit in this place, God. Oh, God, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by your Holy Spirit. Say the Lord of hosts, God. So we thank and praise you for your very presence, God. We thank and praise you for your love and kindness, for loving us so much, God. Oh, you love us so much, God. And we thank you for your love this morning, God. Oh, yes, Lord God. We just bless your name today, God. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 
And then the next word is seek. And seek, and we know seek again is search. And it's different ways to seek. It's different ways to search. But again, when we seek, we're praying. We're asking the Lord. And then it goes on to knock. And knock, I'm inquiring. And I'm knocking and I'm asking the Lord. Again, I'm praying, seeking. So I thank and praise God for his word today. And ask, thank you, Jesus. John 14, 13 says, and whatever so, we shall ask in my name. That will I do that the Father may be glorified in the yeah. Son. Yeah. And what the Lord is saying here, we have to ask in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We don't ask in no other name because the word lets us know by no other name will a man be saved but at the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We know that Jesus is the name. Jesus is the name that the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, hallelujah. We have to ask in his name, hallelujah, number one. Next thing, we can come boldly. We thank and praise God in his word. He lets us know that we can come boldly. So when we ask, come boldly to the throne of God, knowing that he's able to do that thing that you're asking him. He's able to do. Don't come intimidated. Don't come timid. But come as a child of God. You are a child of God. And he lets us know in his word. He says no good thing without would fall from them. That walk up rightly before me. He's your father. If you're asking hallelujah. We got to ask in faith. We can't waver. And John 5 14 says. And this is a confidence we have in him. We have to have confidence in Jesus. Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. It was the joy that was set before him. He endured the cross and he despised the shame. And he is sitting at the right hand of God, the Father, the God, making intercession for us. So God already knows, but we got to go in confidence that we may have what we ask. He says anything that we ask according to his will. That's another thing when we ask. <laughs> I'm trying to read the scripture, but God, thank God for the spirit of God. Hallelujah. It has to be according to his will. That's what John 5, 14 lets us know. When we're asking, it has to be according to his will. Sometimes we ask thank God for things that are they're not according to his will. They're according to our will. Even the father in the garden of Gethsemane, as he prayed to the father, he said, Father, nevertheless, not, but not my will, but thy will. When he was asking, if it be your will, Father, let this cup pass from me. But nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. Hallelujah to God. So we got to make sure that when we're asking, when we're requesting, when we're praying, hallelujah, it's in the name of Jesus. We're coming with faith and assurance. Faith we know is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. By faith, the elders, oh, they obtained a good report for the things they have not yet seen. I'm sorry, y'all, I'm trying to read the scripture, but I got to preach down in my spirit today because I know what it's like to ask God for something and when we're waiting on God to do it. But it has to be his will that sometimes when we miss it, it's not all the will of God and we need to come to recognize that when God don't allow a thing to happen it was not his will God saves us and protects us from some things oh, it has to be according to his will if Jesus had to say Father according to that well who are we Hallelujah. yes we are the children of God we are the sons of God we were one day coming to the place where we're the bride of Christ but we still gotta be in the will of the Father we wanna know and the scripture says we want to be his we want to be his good, his acceptable, yes. and the perfect will of God. Yes. But what brings me to the next word is seek. And this is what I keep hearing in my spirit. Seek. We have to seek the Lord. As I said when I started, I can only give you what the Lord has given me. And I'm like, Lord, what is it you're trying to say? Well, the Lord wants us to seek him like never before. Matthew 6, 33. Hallelujah. Seek ye first 
the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto him. We have to seek the Lord first and his kingdom and all these things are going to be added unto us. But we got to seek him first. We can't seek after the things we want. We can't seek after what we desire. We have to seek him first. As long as we put the Lord first, he said, then we got to trust him. He'll give us the desires of our heart. Prove him. He opened up the windows of heaven and sent us a blessing. We won't have room enough to see. But we got to seek the Lord. Isaiah 55 and 6 says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Hallelujah. God, we're in a time where God wants his people to seek him. Yes. We know we, we often hear a lot of times people quote 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Mm -hmm. If my people, which are called by my name. Well, let's stop at if. If is the condition. So God is telling his people. He's telling the nation, especially in a time that we're living in, all that's going on in the world. This is why we got to seek God. We got to seek God about everything. We got to seek God about how we get ready to vote. I'm sorry, but we got to seek him for that. Mm -hmm. We have to seek him about our life. We have to seek him about where we work. See, I often hear, we often say, I got to seek the Lord. I got to see what the Lord would have me do. But I think sometimes, I may have to talk about me, but sometimes just go ahead and still do it. And then really, truly wait for the answer from the Lord. I will not seek. Seek, no, seek me, seek right now. Don't go nowhere, don't move. Seek the Lord yeah. while he may be found. Yeah. Call upon him while he's near. Yeah. God is near, he's listening to us. We serve the God, he always hears when we pray. Yeah. But we gotta continue to seek him. Hallelujah, oh my God. Jeremiah 29, 13, it says, seek me, the Lord, and ye shall find me. But how, we gotta do it. When you search with your whole heart, mm -hmm. it has to be a heart thing. Mm -hmm. It has to come from the heart, not from the mind, not from the flesh. See, the flesh will lead us astray, okay? And we know that the spirit and the flesh wars against one another, but we have to walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh, so we can do things according to the way that the Father would have us do them. Because if you seek him, why well, you can find him? It, search him with your whole heart. A few verses above that, Jeremiah 29, 11, with a very familiar verse we all know. Yes. The plans that yes. God has for us. Yes. So if we're seeking him for what we want. God already has a plan for us. Yes. But we got to seek him for that plan. Yes. Pastor said it every week. The God has a plan for your life, yes. and the enemy has a plan. Yes. Yes. We all should know John 10 and 10. The thief, he wants to kill. He wants to steal. He wants to destroy. But God says, I come that you may have life and have it abundantly. But we got to seek him. We got to seek the Lord. We can't go on our own way. We can't go the way we think we need to do it. And I want to just stop for a minute with that seek. Hallelujah. In 2 Chronicles seven fourteen, it says, if, condition, my people, which are called by my name, if we would just humble ourselves, we got to get humble. Yes. we got to humble ourselves before the Lord. Yes. If we humble ourselves, mm -hmm. seek my face, seek the face of the Lord. Not seeking nobody else's face. Not seeking what the expression of anybody else is going to be, but seek the Lord. Seek yeah. his face. And then turn from our wicked ways. Our ways are not always right. Mm -hmm. And we have to turn from those ways. And we want to know why our blessings are being held up. Jesus. We gotta be real. We serve in the, we serve in a true and living God. Yeah. God is a spirit, yeah. and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. So we gotta be real. Instead of Lord, why you not answer my prayer? Well, I did this and I did that. Mm -mm. We have to turn from our wicked ways. Yes. Yes. The ways of this world are wicked. Yes. But there's some wickedness going on. We got to search our heart Jesus. and make sure we're right. Mm -hmm. He said, then yeah. will he hear from heaven. Yes, Lord. Then, another condition, he's going to hear from heaven. <clears throat> Forgive our sin and heal the land. Yes. Yes. But see, a lot of times everybody read the 14th verse. You know, The 13th verse lets us know, if I shut up heaven, 
and there be no rain. Yeah. Mm. Or if I command the locusts to devour the land, yeah. Yeah. or if I send pestilence upon yeah. his people. Yeah. So this is what we have to understand. We don't want God to do these things mm. because of the wickedness, mm. because of all the wickedness that was going on. We want to, we got to seek the Lord with a pure heart. Mm. We have to pray that prayer. Psalms 51, create in me a clean heart, O oh Lord. Mm. Renew the right spirit yeah. within me. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want nothing between me and my Savior. Yeah. That needs to be our prayer yeah. as we seek the Lord. Lord, I don't want nothing to come between that, nothing to hinder you from what I'm seeking you for. Mm. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. The last thing it talks about is knock. Again, when you knock, communicate, ask, pray. I'm knocking. I'm going to go to Luke real quick. Luke chapter 13, verse 24 and 27. Verse 24 and 27. It says, strive to enter into the straight gate. And many, I say unto you, will seek to enter it in that day, not be able. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut to the door and began to stand without and to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know you not whence you are. This is Jesus speaking. Then shall you begin to say, we have eaten and drunk in your presence, and we have toured in our streets. But he say, he shall say, mm -hmm. I tell you, I know you not. Whence ye are depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. And I was, I, I'm like, okay, Lord, what, what, what's going on here? Is it possible mm -hmm. that this is going on? And he say it is, because he wasn't seeking him. Because when we seek him, we have come to a place of repentance. Ooh. We'll repent before the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we have to seek him in yeah. everything. Yeah. We don't want to hear, I was in church this Sunday, that Sunday, Sunday, and I was, you know, I was doing this and I was doing that. This is, we have to seek the Lord. We can't just be about form and fashion and I'm, I'm here, but I'm not seeking the Lord the way I need to seek him. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong unto God, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and our children. So there's some secret things that belong unto God, but things that are revealed. But how do we get to those things to reveal? We gotta seek them. Amen. We gotta search them out. Yes, I thought about the game we played yesterday yes. in the park. Glory. So we had Bible characters taped to our back, and we didn't know who we were. <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus. it was fun because yes. we all had a Bible character to take to our back, but everybody else could see it. And when we asked them questions, they could only respond with a yes or no, but they couldn't tell us who we are. Mm -hmm. And it made me think, you know, when it comes to God, huh, it comes with who we are. Mm -hmm. We got to know who we are. Oh, yes. We got to know who we are in Christ. Just like the attributes of the characters that we wore on our back. Somebody should be able to say, Overseer, yeah. family of the church, Overseer, taught Bible school for X amount of years, Overseer, yeah. preached the word of God. Overseer is a godly man of God, and that's how our character has to be. Yeah. That if somebody's trying to find you, they don't know what you look like, they've never seen you before, yeah. but your character should sure. speak for yourself. Yeah. Your, what is your witnesses in heaven and your record is on high. Amen. They need to know. Your, your life needs to be a witness. So as we're seeking, I've also thought about, we talk about the game of hide and seek, and everybody knows how to play hide and seek. Yeah. Every, except maybe Zoe and, and, and Prince. But everybody, <laughs> some death time or another, you played hide and seek. Well, in hide and seek, first you have to know who the who is. Like who you looking for. Mm -hmm. Well, in this, the who we talking about is Jesus, the Lord. Mm -hmm. So we have to know who we're seeking. Amen. We're seeking the Lord. We're not seeking Buddha. We're not seeking Confucius because we know he's confused. Yeah. We're not seeking Allah. Amen. We're not even seeking our prince. 
Because their ways, we can't follow the ways of our friends. We can't follow the ways of our loved ones. We have to seek the Lord. So the who you're seeking for. So when then when the game starts, it's the how. How are you going to find that person? Now I know what you look like. How am I going to find you? Well, you got to move. You gotta put some yeah. some some work. You gotta you gotta yeah. put your faith into action. Okay? If you stand still and just keep saying, I'm seeking the Lord. And I'm seeking the Lord. I need my kitchen clean, but I'm seeking the Lord. <laughs> you gotta move. Amen. You have to do something. Yeah. Just like in the game hide and seek. I am not gonna find Lisa if I don't go looking for her. Amen. I gotta move. And that's the how. And then the why. Why is because if you remember the games, you try to catch the people before they get back to base. But whoever you find, they're going to be it next. Now, how about if you don't find nobody? You see him, and everybody run past me. They get back to base, and I didn't get nobody. I'm it again. However, if I find somebody, I'm going to get the reward. Glory. And that's what it's about seeking as we seek the Lord. There's a reward. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, therefore, we're going to ask the Lord what it is we're believing God for. Hallelujah. We're going to seek the Lord for what we're believing God for. We're still praying. We ain't stop praying. When we ask, we're praying. When we seek, we're still praying. And then we're going to knock. Thank you, Jesus. And the scripture says, the door will be open unto you. So when you open, when the door is open. So see, God is a rewarder. Hebrews 11, 6 said, God is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. We can't just seek him half-heartedly. We can't seek him when we feel like it. Oh, I feel like praying about it today, but tomorrow I don't feel like praying about it. But then I'm sitting waiting. Why didn't I get my answer? Because I'm not being diligent. We got to be consistent. Hallelujah. I remember the lady, and I love this lady in the Bible, the woman that had an issue of blood. Yeah. Yeah. She was sick for 12 years. Yeah. She spent all of her money going to the physicians. But she said, if I can touch the hem of his garden, I will be made whole. She reached up, and as Jesus was passing through, she touched the hem of his garden. She sought to be made whole. I think it was a man, Zacharias, up in the sycamore tree. He was seeking Jesus, but he was up in the tree. And then Jesus told him to come on down. He sought Jesus. You got to seek him. When Jesus rose from the dead, the morning of the third day, they went to the tomb seeking their Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. But they went to seek him. They went to seek him out. Thank you, Jesus. We got to have that in our spirit that we're seeking the Lord. We're seeking the things of God. People sort, sort things in the Bible. Yeah. They sort God. They sort after God. We got to stand in faith. We got to take him at his word. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. If God promised you something, he's yes. going to give it to you. But we got to do it the right way. It has to be according to his will. It can't be in our will. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. I said I'm not I'm not preaching. I'm trying to explain the word, but I'm so excited about what the Lord is saying. Because all I heard a couple days, all I heard last night, seek, seek, seek the Lord. It's time for that body of Christ to seek the Lord like never before. Why is the enemy doing whatever he thinks he can do in the in the world? Because the saints of God are not seeking God like we should. But we got to seek them. Thank you, Jesus. We can't doubt. We can't doubt what the word of God says. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If I'm seeking you for it and I'm believing him for it, I'm not going to turn around and say, well, he ain't going to do it. But now you're waiting. So now God is okay. He's waiting to bless. All we got to do is continue to seek him. Continue to seek the Lord continually. Seek him in strength. First Chronicles 16 and let's say, seek the Lord in his strength. Not our strength. In the strength of the Lord. How often do we seek him? Continually. Continually seek the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But just know that anything that we ask, 
believe it, we will receive it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. See, we thank and praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ha. Huh. I can't say it, I know it, but I gotta turn to it. Thank you, Jesus. I say a 4031. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I feel this thing right now. But they that wait upon the Lord, you're gonna renew your strength. God is gonna renew your strength. As you see, can't just wait on him. See, ain't no need to wait to place on him. Oh. It makes no sense to me. I didn't see what time the bus come, but I'm just going to stand on the corner, knowing that the bus don't even run at night. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait. You have to seek first. Wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. He's going to renew your strength in the midst of your waiting, in the midst of your trial, in the midst of your going through. But they that mount up with wings of eagles, we talked about it in Bible study. Oh, my God. Hallelujah to God. That the eagle, how the eagle soars higher than anything else. I think it's over 10,000 feet that the eagle soar. Hallelujah. So we're going to mount up the people of God. We should be like eagles. We should be soaring higher than anybody else down in this earth. Because we are the people of God. So they're going to mount up the wings of eagles. Hallelujah. And they shall run and not be weary. When we're running from the Lord. So we got to we gotta dismiss it out of our mind. That I'm tired and I'm busted and disgusted and I can't do it and this and the other. We gotta change our mindset. We gotta have the mind of Christ. The word says, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. Well, my God is not broke, busted, and disgusted. So I'm not gonna be weary. Because the word lets me know. Don't get weary of well doing, because you're gonna reap the harvest if you faith not. That's the reward that you're knocking for. That's the reward that you're seeking for. But, but walk. You want to walk in that faith. Hallelujah. Some of us may be walking a little slower, but that's okay. Keep on walking with Jesus. Because Jesus is the one that's going to bring you through. Jesus is going to help you. Hallelujah. I think about the people that waited in the Bible. Hallelujah. It was Joseph that waited 13 years before he came out of his captivity. Before he was we're in the place that Pharaoh had put him. Hallelujah. Oh, and look at Jacob. Jacob waited seven years for Rachel, mm -hmm. and then was tricked. Yeah. They had to go wait another seven years. And, we, and, and see, the Bible says, a thousand years is but a day to the God. Yeah. What, one day. Yeah. God is still in the same day. Yeah. And we're still moaning and groaning and crying and complaining. Stop complaining. Jesus waited 30 years before his ministry was fulfilled. That's Jesus. Jesus waited 30 years. Moses waited 40 years in the desert trying to get to the promised land. He waited. God wants to excel, celebrate your will. Seek the Lord with your whole heart. Call upon him while he is near. God's going to accelerate it, but you got to seek him like never before. Jesus. I bless you all. I thank God. If you don't remember nothing else, I heard about the song Kirk Franklin. What you're looking for, what you're looking for, seek the Lord. Just seek the Lord. Seek him. Nothing else to look after. Just seek the Lord. God is able to do exceeding above him above all that he has for things. He said it's according to the power that worketh in us. And he gives us that power. But we got to believe. We got to believe. And it has to be according to his will. God bless you. God bless you. This has been an hour to deliver. If you don't know the Lord <laughs> as your Savior, mm -hmm. anybody that will see this at another time, anybody that's in this house, God came to save those that were lost. Yes. He loves us so. All we got to do is accept yeah. Him yeah. as our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Believe that He's Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he, has, he rose from the dead after three years. Yeah. He died for our sins. Yeah. And then we confess. We are all have gone and born and sin straight in iniquity. Yeah. We have confessed that we were once sinners, mm -hmm. but we are now sin. We were sinners. We're saved by grace, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's it, that's open to the whole world. Mm -hmm. God didn't just come to die for me, you, uh, that's in this house. He came to die for everybody, Amen. and we can all have right to the tree of life. We can all have eternal life with Jesus, but. <laughs> While we're waiting for that eternal life, and you accept the Lord as your Savior, Jen begin to seek him. Ask the Lord what he would have you to do. Even seek him about your ministry. God has gifts that are my enjoyment in the body of Christ. There are people not seeking ministry. I thank God, and, I, and I'm not tooting my own horn. 
I don't beg, I don't pray and ask the Lord for riches and a car and a house. And I sometimes I forget to pray for myself because I believe God. And I know people are praying for me, but we got to be praying about the body of Christ. We got to be praying about the lost. Yes. You know, asking the Lord to show us what it is He would have us to do. So I thank and praise God that He gives us an opportunity. Yeah, we know the Lord supplies every, all of our needs according to his riches and glory. Mm. But you know, we gotta pray about those lost souls. Yes. Because until the restitution of all times of the days are fulfilled, yes. <laughs> Jesus is on the scene. He's gonna save everybody. Yes. If anybody in, in the sound of my voice, even here, we on we on we on we on a Zoom on Wednesday night on Bible study. Yes. But we're self we're we're learning about the seven spirits of God. And we're talking about Isaiah 11 too. And when you get home, look up Isaiah 11 too. Because we're believing that the spirit that rests upon God, that same spirit yeah. will rest upon us. And when that spirit rests upon us, God will come and give us wisdom. And he will give us an understanding that we can understand what he's imparting to us. And then he will allow the spirit of counsel to fall upon us in the might. Those spirits will fall upon us. God will counsel us on what we need to do. He will lead us, hallelujah, in what we should do, who we should minister to. We're not all going to be able to minister to everybody we come in contact with. And we don't have to keep trying to beat our family members over the head. God got somebody for them. God got somebody that will minister to them. But sometimes they don't want to hear us. And then that spirit of the knowledge of the fear of the Lord will fall. It's going to fall upon the world. <laughs> hallelujah. And then the spirit of the Lord is going to overtake us. And we, one day we all going to be caught up. Mm -hmm. But we want to make sure that all this happens. This is going to be fulfilled. <laughs> God's plan is going to be fulfilled. It's, the, the old Adam, <clears throat> the first Adam messed up. But God was the second Adam. Jesus the second Adam. And, and restored things. And everything's going to be restored. So I thank and praise God today. Uh, God bless you. Those that receive the Lord as your Savior, you and your house, I might not never meet you, but we thank and praise God that you're a part of the body of Christ. But by faith, I believe somebody received the Lord today. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.